Whoa, what's happening, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Back to the channel with another bang on the way. How you doing this morning? Man. Woo wee. I'm feeling good, y'all. It's a pretty ass day out here, bro. For real. It's a pretty ass day. And guess what we riding on? The red bottoms. You already know. All weekend. We sliding on the red bottoms for Thanksgiving weekend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all probably gonna be watching this video on Thanksgiving. So if y'all watching this video, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family as well. You know what I'm saying? From the Just Cruising family. And you know, you already know how we doing. But yeah, though. Man, all right, so let me give y'all the rundown of why my truck was on the tow truck uh, the, day, the day of the show. Let me give y'all a rundown real quick before we uh, start our day. So, so Friday night, I got the truck back. Everything was working fine, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I wanted to get my windshield tinted. So as y'all know, I got my windshield smacked with 20 down the shield. It looks real good, bro. I love it, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, at first when I got it, I was like, bro, I hate this windshield tint. Because like, I couldn't see at night. I had like, my eyes was like, oh my God. So I just hated it, bro. I was like, I can't do this, bro. Like real talk. I'm just checking up under my truck. But uh, y'all, this windshield tint, let me show y'all. Smack, don't no mind my sniff it, it's my allergies, but smack the windshield tint is the way, bro. Bro, look at that. It's so clean, bro. I love it. Like, look, bro, just look at that, man. I'm telling y'all, boy. So, I'm finna basically just give y'all a rundown of everything I got did to my truck. So, y'all already know, 26 by 16 by BCR, custom, with the powder coat is ranched red with the custom floating center caps. So, that's what I got on there, 26 by 16s. And I got new tires from Kingpin Auto Sports, 37 by 1350, 26 Road Runner. I meant Road Run, uh, Calvary's. When I tell y'all that's the best tires on the market, if you want to stretch the tires, bro, I'm telling y'all, these tires sealed so perfect. I don't know if y'all remember the last videos, I had that big, big ass gap. Bro, look at this. Sealed all the way around. Just look at that. Just sealed, bro. All four tires sealed up real good, y'all. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we got the powder coated. Uh, we got so Kingpin. What Kingpin did, y'all? They blacked out everything up under my truck from the frame, the uh engine compartments, everything, bro. Like, man, just look at this, bro. Like, everything up on here is gloss black, bro. It's probably dirty right now, but. Look, they even polished my dry cell. All of that's gloss black, bro. Like, even that was black, but, you know, with the engine and stuff being hot with the pipes. Everything up on here is gloss black. Like, everything, bro. Upper and lower control arms. Like, everything. Look at this, bro. Gloss black. Like, it looks so good, bro. Like, I love it. Then we have our, uh, we have the Chrome Fabtech cross member done by uh Macro Powder Coating. Y'all shout out to them. I'll tag them below. And I had a business card. I will show a picture at the end of this video on who who y'all can contact. Shout out to my homeboy David. He did his dab with a quick, fast, and hurry. We got the uh springs powder coated. The uh yeah, bro. The idler arm powder coated. We got the cross member powder coated, front and back cross member powder coated. Y'all can see that back there. And then I got these little chrome pieces powder coated, bro. I love it, bro. Like real talk, like I just love like the little detail of it, like for real. And then uh, we're gonna go into the front. Y'all see, we got the color match front bumper, front and rear bumper, and also the mirrors. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy, uh, my brother's keeper on Instagram did that for me. He did a real good job. You know what I'm saying? We got the rear bumper. Now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The day I got this stuff, I had dropped it. Like, right here. Y'all see the little part? I dropped the bumper. Man, when I tell y'all, them bumpers real, like, heavy as hell, man. Like, they was like, yeah, man, throw the bumper on. You know what I'm saying? Once you throw the bumper on, we go for alignment. So, I'm like, okay, cool. You ain't gonna be nothing. I'm gonna say, talk to my girl. I picked that bit up. I said, no, I can't do this. So, I had to get, like, little blocks and line it up and then force it up. Not force it, but, like, you know, align it up on it. Like, I had to really... Go up under like I was bench pressing, pick it up, you know what I'm saying, and then like push it up on there. Like it was crazy, bro. Like that bumper real life heavy. But other than that, um, y'all see, we didn't get the air time to get uh that right here fixed up. But 
You already know it's coming soon. We're gonna get that fixed up. Hopefully, I might get it fixed up before uh LA Resort coming up. Real talk. So uh yeah, and then another thing I'm, what I'm about to go do. Okay, so we're getting these headlights flushed in. We didn't have time because like like real talk, y'all, we was rushing. This little piece right here, I found some on, on the website. I could just get all of this redid. All of this, like I'm just pop this out and just order a whole new one, color match and everything for my truck. And then let me tell y'all about the grill. So the guy who had who's gonna make my grill, he caught corona. So you know what I'm saying? Sorry to hear that. But he is in good conditions, y'all. So, you know, he he's doing good. And excuse me, the grill was supposed to come in Friday, but he said it'll come in Monday. So I just told him just, you know, just refund me my money and we'll get it ready for another show coming up. So that's that and we went from there so i sold my old 37s so i got these brand new 37s uh what else we got coming up for the truck smack 20 percent shield down the uh smack 20 percent tent down the shield excuse me uh, i'm trying to remember everything so y'all could uh you know <coughs> and let me tell y'all you know what I'm saying? if anybody plans on getting shield tent okay so what happened with my truck the reason why my truck didn't uh wasn't like ready for body body shut down that early that morning was because i had uh what's a beat right here man yeah the reason why it wasn't ready because i had water in my uh dash so y'all know whenever if a lot of people out there y'all probably know if y'all have windshield tent when they do windshield tent, they got they got with that windshield up they got clean it real good get all that water scrape it down and stuff like that like when you get tent, that's probably like the cleanest your window ever has been. So when he like that guy sprayed a lot, a lot of water on there, and you know what I'm saying. And my truck was starting on its own, so I'm guessing like all the water that seeped into there, it had got like some of my wires wet and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So that's how that is. Windshield, uh, yeah, that water seeped in, and man, we was at the car wash that night, washing it up. Me, Chad, Devin, and uh. You know what I'm saying? A homeboy stuff like that, bro. We had like, like it, it just started. Like I was really just chilling. We tried to put the antenna on my truck, and me, I'm thinking like, bro, the antenna messed up my truck, y'all. Like it did something to the computer. I don't know what it was. It's bad luck. We was always like, oh my gosh, no. But what really happened though? Uh, the water got seeped in there, and you know, with all that moisture from the cold air, it had kind of made it even worse and stuff like that, and. Y'all, literally, my truck started on its own. I don't know how. I didn't press the button. Cause me, I'm thinking it's the remote start. I took everything about that truck, dealing with the remote start, apart. And it kept starting on its own, bro. And, like, it was so bad, y'all. I think I got footage of it. If I do, I will put it in this video right here. Uh, or it might be in the other video. It might be in the other video. Yeah, I think it's going to be in the other video uh, before this. Um, so y'all gonna see it. Y'all probably gonna ask some questions like what's going on. But yeah, this video right here is explaining on everything that's going on. And me and my pops, we had looked through everything about that truck. We tested everything and we still couldn't find out what it was. But as soon as I got home from Bayou Showdown uh, last night, we had, uh, it dried up, I guess. And see, this is how I had to start my truck because the thing about it, my starting relay, I think it's the starting relay, it was giving out constant power. So this is how we had to start my truck. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. I'm finna show y'all real quick how we started the truck and uh, got everything working. Golly, right. man. So, uh, this right here, I had to start the truck up. As soon as I started the truck up, I had to pull that out because the thing about it, if I left it in, the truck kept trying to like, it kept trying to start on its own and it was burning up the starter like it was grinding on them on that on that fan or whatever you know what i'm saying it was like it was sounding real real bad bro like bad so that's what we had to keep doing and then like every time i shut the truck off i had to take out the uh negative part of the battery because the thing about it the truck uh it was still like saying that it was on all the dash lights was on the radio all that stuff bro it was crazy bro but we still made the bike show down and it was real good you know what i'm saying like i had a real good time even though the promise of my truck but just know if anybody i'm gonna let anybody know that gets windshield tent anybody that, that uh y'all know that do windshield tent man y'all make sure y'all be careful especially with them open dashes like make sure whoever tint y'all windshield man like just put down some like some 
to like catch that water so it won't go seep into that dash, y'all. Like, cause you know what I'm saying? There's something to catch that water because you don't want that to happen. Cause I know, and see, yeah, some people may be like, man, you, you don't know what you're talking about. The guy who did your tent probably did it bad. But, um, nah, bro, like, even my homeboy Chad, when he got his windshield tinted, he said he'll be riding down the street and his radio will go up and down, up and down, you know what I'm saying, on his arm. Like, it was turned up on his arm and stuff like that. So, uh, but he said once he let it dry down in the sun, and everything was good and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. So, today, what we got going on, I got a little pop-up me going on for Thanksgiving. A little pop-up me tonight at, uh, at this place. And I'm finna go ride by BR Riding House real quick, help him out with his truck. He taking out his headlights or something like that. I don't know what he doing. What's that, dude? Man, they can Change out both calipers. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's what I do. Shit, shit. Oh, that's good. 
this side grab and that side now. Right, right. I still turn both. Yeah, I turn out both of them. That, that, that would make sure that would make sure pull anyway towards the up uh, anyway that way. Yeah. I just do that shit at the crib. Uh, them tires still back there? I think they are back there. I'm gonna, uh, the, the other sixes I got. Yeah, I can't see that. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put, grab, I'm gonna grab them and put them on the back of the truck. Yeah, I'm gonna... Them boys working back here. Yeah. I got my, my baby's bag. I gotta go back tomorrow to pick up the last one. They ain't fit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if I ain't have my toolbox, you know what I'm saying? It'll fit, but it ain't fit this time. I should've brought my homeboy with me. I should've told somebody to come help me. But, uh, yeah, though, other than that, uh, yeah, man, so basically what they were saying, I need to change out. The reason why I guess my truck is like drifting to the left a little bit is I need to change out my, my, uh, my brake calipers on both sides. I really thought they would have did that when they had taken everything in the front end, but I mean, I mean, hey, I mean, you know, things like that happen. I mean, I ain't really tripping about it. But, uh, yeah, though, I mean, it was a successful day. Got everything checked out, retorked again. They, uh, tightened everything up for me as always. Like I said, Kingpin All Sports, man, y'all, y'all hit them up, man. Hit them up. They, they do real good work, real talk, like, like dead ass. So, uh, me and my pops are probably just gonna change out the brake caliber bolts, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying, let them do that stuff right there. So, uh, I'm at the gas station right now, getting about to get gas. So I'm about to uh, head out in a little bit. Man, I got fast, I gotta pee. I'm at the pee all day. Oh yeah, man, nigga, Mark be whipping my shit, I ain't lying. He be, <laughs> hey, he be with, hey, bro, it be so funny because like, he'll get in my shit, like he know everything, like where everything's at. Man, dude, to cut the lights on. Cut the music on, all that, bro. He over here bumping that young boy bad. That's it, though, man. They do real good work, man. Shout out to them boys for real, bro. Wouldn't have got all this stuff done without him, without them, God, and my parents, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? Being respectful, stuff like that, doing good. But like I said, bro, that's probably it for. No, I forgot. This ain't it for today's video because we got a pop up meet tonight. So y'all stay tuned for that footage right there. Also, don't forget to copy your merch. I ain't got the hat on today, but you know, I always rock the hat whenever I do have it. I think I left it at uh, my house. But in that, copy your merch. I'm working on a video right now for you guys. This video is going to drop. I'm telling you, bangers all day, bro. Bangers all day. So y'all stay tuned, bro.